lot of people just started school again. So today we're looking at school TikToks that will make your day better. Dropping my sister off at school. I never got the opportunity to do that to my brothers. I feel like I missed out on a good part of life. I'm kind of sad now. I guess you <laughs> oh, oh, man. They didn't have games like this back when I was in school. I was thinking about this the other day in the shower. I was like, yo, back when I was in school, we would like play a math game and that was like all that existed and we'd get like hyped up about it. Like I remember library time was so big back then. <laughs> <laughs> like a school secretary. <laughs> that is like probably one of the biggest myths or like mysteries of the human universe. Why do we all have the exact same secretary? Like if that isn't a glitch in the matrix, if that doesn't prove we're in a simulation, I don't know what does. That's depressing. Why is it not allowed in school? I feel like school, man, should definitely start later. I'm a huge advocate for it. I don't get it. They should not have like 17, 16, any kid waking up that early to go to school to learn. Like, come on. Three, two, one, wow. Five. Wow, what the heck? No. Three, two, one. Honestly, 2017 already has like good memories for me. I don't even know what happened. I think, in fact, I think that was the worst year. I'm pretty sure that's the year my mom left me. But it still feels better than like what's going on with the pandemic. Like I'm looking back and I'm like, dang, that sucked. But that, yeah. this sucks too. To turn on camera for Zoom. Yes, never. All you need is sticky notes and a flashlight. While this guy's showing this, um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is straight up. I'm not gonna lie. I have had meetings with people and, and my camera does not work in Zoom meetings. I don't know, maybe because it's like such a good, look at the blur, like it's a good camera. It doesn't work in business meetings. I just, it doesn't work in business meetings. And so like, I just tell them and I love it because I never have to show my face and I hate doing it. So, hey, I'm winning this. The test isn't hard, the test. What do you see on the screen? Probably one of our simpler games. All you have to do is tell me, what do you see on the screen? The letter A. Ryan? Um, the letter A? Wrong. The correct answer is the color red. Oh, I <laughs> thought you were talking. Next question. <laughs> that is, that is online test. And it's the worst when you get the right answer and it's wrong because you didn't get the right amount of decimal points. <laughs> That'd be me. Oh, that would so be me. I'm way different now than I was, but back in high school and college, I would like hate doing it. Teachers send you a supplies list two days before they start school. Oh wow, supplies list, dude. This is all tried. this is unlocking so many memories. Wow. This is crazy. I literally have so many memories of doing this as a kid, and like I just haven't thought of it. I haven't even been to like a Target in like since I was like five. Like oh my gosh. And in three months. Name one thing you learned. Alright. Oh, you can cheat like this? Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Wow. That would have saved me time if any of my uh, teachers ever did questions on Google Forms, which they never did, so it would have helped me zero. But hey, someone out there just learned something. Congrats. Teacher Loki seeing it. <laughs> Oh man, that's brutal. Dude, I have this memory in college of a kid trying to get me to cheat because I was failing a class and I refused to cheat. Everyone cheated except for me and I'll never forget it. I was like the only one that almost failed the class. I had the worst grades just because I don't know why I just couldn't do my, I just couldn't cheat. 400 word essay at nine. You're making them all white. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I remember I did that and I showed my mom. I was like, mom, look, I'm so smart. She was like, Zach, you do it the right way. I was like, mom. It was like, that's it. it was, that was a pretty dumb story. Sorry. For a train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow. We're waiting around for a yes or a no. Wow. <laughs> Everyone is just waiting. All right, this seems like a cool teacher. I'm glad that she let that happen. Like, do more teachers need to do that? Half of them, like, you make a, you make class, you, you know, you make learning kind of enjoyable and they're like, no, quiet, get back down. I was like, God, make it fun. Is it gonna be the bouncy kid? I feel like it is. Yes! Dude, we all do have the bounty kid. I don't know why. Why is that a thing? Like this, there's like this weird thing where like a percentage of people just learn to walk differently than the rest of us. Some of you, someone watching is probably that guy. Look, there's nothing wrong with it. Just, you're just the guy. Wakey, wakey, wakey. It's time for school. 
Come on. Wake up. It's time what? for school. Come on, man. I thought was poop. Oh, he's sleeping in it. That has to be like the most comfortable spot. It's either the most comfortable or the most itchy and like allergy inducing spot ever. But hey, if I'm a dog, that's what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. This brings back an unlocked memory. These just rolls of literal paper that do nothing. Why do we all have these? How does this paper towel company, <laughs> how do they have like a freaking monopoly on paper towels? Dude, that literally is the weirdest memory. I have not thought of that in like a decade. Like, look at this. When I finished my degree, we had so much fun. It was just awesome. Seeing all my friends the last time, like, I don't know. There was a lot of memories I made in that last three month period of college or even the last like couple weeks. This to me, oh man, I, I feel bad. That's always the English teacher. The English teacher is like that. I don't know why. Oh, yes. That's literally an English teacher. And the next one's going to slam it down. And it's always the history teacher. I don't know why. History teachers just do not care. Oh, man. I don't know if that's just me. That's how it was set up in my school. That was like not a thing at my school ever. Is this a thing that actually happens? Like I've never, ever, ever seen it. Like I don't feel like anyone in my school had shoes that were worthy of uncreasing. Or maybe creasing didn't matter back then. I don't know, I've never seen that. Is that a thing? Is it weird how school doesn't let you wear ripped jeans? Oh uh, yeah, they didn't, mine didn't really. But you can wear shorts that show your leg. Uh, don't even get me started on school dress codes. Like they were so inconsistent. I don't understand it. It just doesn't make any sense. What is it supposed to do? Like you walk out of school, you can wear whatever you want. I just, it, I don't get it, all right? I don't get it at all. It triggers me. If your students stop scrolling, you're going to want to hear what I'm about to say. I'm about to share with you guys three life hacks that every student should know, but I bet you didn't. I bet. Hack number one, Wikipedia articles can be super long, right? Oh, well, you can did use you know the... that if oh. you replace this word EN with simple, what? it'll simplify the entire article for you? Oh, that's kind of cool. Hack number two, that. find any slides on any subject online by following this step. Enter the name of your class, file type, and then two dots PPT. Whoa. You will find tons of slides and PowerPoints on the subject that you're That's studying. That's useful too. Hack number three. If you forgot your textbook at school, did you know that you could find it online? All you need to do is put the name of your textbook, file type, two dots. Yeah, we tried this one back in college. This is one that I knew. And uh, a lot of time they had answers in the teacher's version. Problem is, the teacher's version would be like $500 and none of us could afford it. But it was an option. We just could never get to it after school naps be like oh man i never got that because i played like all these sports but i literally don't think i ever did Ma, that once what you like, cooking 1 15 a.m mom i never did this ever i can't remember ever napping until i got to college and then i take naps at, like all day like every time classes ended i'd go find a random room and nap but like in high school not a chance you catch me sleeping no that's that's got to be fake right Oh, I get it, because you put down the water molecules. Okay, all right, took me a second. I was a little slow on that one, okay? I, by the way, online exams, the worst thing ever. If you did them, which you probably did during the lockdown, they suck, all right? I hate them, especially math questions. <laughs> oh, Mark, it's like intense. Oh, man, if that ain't facts. What's even worse is in college when your professor doesn't write the test, someone else does, a different professor, and your professor teaches you the wrong stuff and you take the test and you get a 50 on it. So you send them an email and you say, hey prof, I think I failed the class, can you please give me bonus points? And then you think he does and you're still not sure to this day if you actually deserve your degree or not. These are a dollar, chips are two dollars, candy is three dollars, and if you want the Takis, these are five dollars. What does everyone want? My mom didn't pat me a drink. Oh no, Pencils dude. Are making me thirsty. I have a, dude. I remember I used to like forget lunches like pretty often. And I remember one day, one of my friends came to school with ate an entire large pizza from Little Caesars and ate the entire thing. And I had no lunch and I'll never forget that memory because I was like, I can't believe my boy just did that without even offering me a pepperoni. It was the weirdest memory ever. Dude, online school would be so weird. I can't imagine doing that. Seriously, I've never had an online class like this. I had one in college and it was a movie class and we just watched movies at home. It was sick. And then came into class once a week for an hour. This would be weird though. I'd hate it. I'd hate it so much. I feel bad for you guys.
the phones in British schools versus American schools. Question for British people. Is it true you always have to wear uniforms at school? British schools. Good morning, sir. Excuse me, Mr. Johnny. Top button up. Where is your... That seems so fake, but I don't I, know. Maybe it is. I'm really sorry. I left it at home, sir. Disgusting. Headmaster's office. Like, headmaster? Is that, like, actually a thing you have in England or whatever? Like, that sounds like... Fake. Versus American schools. Good morning, Mr. Thomas. Oh, yeah, Good morning, that's about right. Johnny. I love your blanket, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like the amount of girls and guys, especially girls, the amount of people that would come to school just straight up wearing pajamas, unbelievable. I'd say 15, 20% of people on any day would be wearing pajamas. You can see on Canvas if somebody cheated on quizzes. Look. Lock screen for 14 minutes. Wow, that is actually frightening because uh, just get a second computer monitor. All right, use your phone. How are they going to know? If this helped you feel like school's not as bad as you thought it was, drop a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite thing or least favorite thing is. Drop a comment. Peace. Bye. <laughs>